Jeremy Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Welcome on back, dreamers and new folk. This is a special edition of Rapid Runs, a Dream Race Recap. The Dream Races are intended to showcase individuals' talents, ranging from a musical opening act to racing, speed running, and even challenge runs of their respective games on display. The third event of Jumpstart January's Dream Races was Goof Troop Max% Percent for the SNES by Junkier Dave. Commentary for this run was done by myself, Jenny Andrews. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, cool. All right, Dave, you give me the countdown and then I will start this timer for the run. Okay. Uh, say on, like, go? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, folks, let's do this thing. Let so, us watch Dave. This this is Gift Troop. This is like probably one of the most underrated, I think, like Super Nintendo games ever. Both co-op, both solo. Um, it's kind of like a puzzle platformer kind of logic game. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call it. It's actually a really weird genre because it's not like it's another genre that can really be described. It looks kind of like a puzzle adventure game of sorts. Kind of, yeah. I guess it's not really like a platformer one. But uh, this, honestly, like if you can grab, you know, like a boyfriend, girlfriend or something like that, or, um, you know, like even a friend, this is probably easily, I think, by far the best co-op speedrun, like in existence, like it's, it's that good. So what um, I like so far that I've seen is that you'll have some screens that you can't progress in unless you solve something else on a different scene before moving on over. Is that correct? correct. Yes. Um, there's some stuff that you have to do in previous screens, obviously, to, like, progress. Um, it's not completely linear. Like, if you're playing this casually, you'll probably get lost a couple of times. Okay. Do, do we believe in ourselves? Because that's the blue gem that we're gonna take. Yeah, we're, baby! Okay, we're, we're gonna believe in ourselves. We're gonna believe. Well, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. So, in this game, um... When you're playing solo, you have like two item slots in the top left corner, and you have access to both of them at any given time. When you're actually playing co-op, uh, you only have access to one, so you actually share like an inventory with your buddy. Ah. And that's a huge difference in how you play it solo, because basically like 50% of the partner carries around one item, uses one item, and then the other 50% uses the other item. So it means there's got to be some really good strategy and communication between the two, at least beforehand, if not during the run. Yes, absolutely. And then on top of that too, Goofy. So to put that into perspective, in the co-op run, which is actually kind of fun, uh, Max has no intentional deaths, I think. But Goofy has like 200. <laughs> wow! So he's, he's just constantly dying to get to like certain screens faster and to do things. So he death abuses like crazy, which is so it's kind of fun. Is that because he's so slow? Uh, no, it's just because he dies because Max is the faster move. Well, I guess yeah, I guess it would be sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Max moves faster, so ideally uh, you want Max to do all the movement in terms of like collecting things and picking up bombs or whatever. So, now this fight right here, this is a heavy RNG fight. Is that correct? This is horrible. Yes. Um, these guys that pop up, they can immediately go back in the hole. Uh, they can pop up in any of these holes. That actually wasn't too bad. Cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they can pop up, they can immediately go back in the hole. They have an option of throwing a spike, a barrel, or a bomb, and it's all completely random. So, entering stage two, uh, in theory, this is where I might not believe in myself anymore. Okay. Uh, in the solo route, at least in stage 2, this is where you would start to do a little bit of death abuse with Max. So we'll go for like one death abuse, but there's two technically, and then on the completely optimized old route, I should say, uh, you'd be running 
this screen at exactly uh, zero lives for quite a while, which is quite scary because if you game over, it just kicks you back to the title. Yeah, that's not so, good. So, this is our first death abuse because it sends us back to the beginning of that screen. Aha, uh -huh, right, okay. In this screen in particular, you would also death abuse here, but uh, we don't feel that comfortable with running this right now, so we're going to take the long scenic route out of this screen. Okay, grab okay. The so now is that another one of those continue gems? Yes, we're gonna grab it. Okay, okay, <laughs> cool, cool. Just in case. Uh, we'll see if we actually need it at the end of the game, but... It is the second continue gem. Uh, at least within reach, so you don't have to go to your way for it. Right, that one seemed like you only gave up a couple seconds for that. Yep. So, that's probably the, the least defending one that you can grab. Every continue gem from now on here out is like way out of your way, so... Okay, cool. <laughs> so, um... I love this game's uh, music. Yeah, it's... Oh, I didn't think I was gonna hit that guy with the pot. But uh, yeah, I think they did a decent job. Like, the music isn't super amazing to my brain, but at the same time, I think it does a really good job of being atmospheric. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, it feels like, you know, like, I'm supposed to be having fun, even though you're dealing with some maddening puzzles and, you know, enemy setups here. Yeah. Ooh, this guy. No! Oh, he is a jerk! Oh, so that forced so you to restart that puzzle, right? Yes. You don't want him to do that. That's like the one spot he can't kick. Okay, you can just kick it down. So this room is actually terrible just because of that reason. Uh, these guys can actually kick the blocks, which is the whole reason that they're in the room to begin with. Aha! Um, so they just run around and disrupt you. But he got the best of me there, so... Good on you, random guy. Well, what a There's punk a couple that guy was. Hmm? I said, what a punk he was. Yeah. So we're feeling a little bit brave. This is technically another death room. Uh, so we can go like this, grab the hook, and then we die and we get sent back to this screen. And that saves quite a few seconds, obviously. So. Okay, nice! So Dave's getting a little more brave as the, uh, the Eve goes on here. Slightly, yes. <laughs> so now, what was that pink one? Uh, that's just an extra life, because... Okay, so an extra life. You really want four lives going to the third screen. <clears throat> I'll stop for one and then the other one's kind of RNG. Uh, but depending if you get the life, um, you can go for it yet again, kind of like another death strat. So there's one on here, coming up, that's just kind of like in your face. But I never grabbed the other one, so it's not quite there. <coughs> Excuse me. Your excuse! Alright, now this must be a boss here. Yes. Um, whoa. Uh oh. Okay. That's kind of close. Uh, yeah, he's he's really triggering because his name is Firebug. <laughs> so, oh, shoot! <laughs> yeah, he just happens to share the same name from the Batman universe, but that's okay. So, so now, is this... do you only play two games with a boss named Firebug? Yes, just okay. happens to be Goof Troop and Batman. Got it. Uh, so he, he can have some pretty RNG, like all the bosses are extremely heavy when it comes to RNG. You really want him to be uh, doing kind of like that long fire attack. Oh, really? Okay. Have a good night, Chico. And TBC, thank you for bringing that raid on in here. We do appreciate that. Hi, Chico. So we're entering stage three. Stage three, I would actually consider probably one of the easier stages. Um, in terms of like the puzzles and stuff, none of them are really kind of like stand out hard. Um, I guess the difference here too is Max between Goofy, there are some character differences. Uh, Goofy, if he picks up an item, he can still walk at full speed. But Max, if he picks up an item, it actually reduces his speed by half. Um, and then on top of that too, Max actually does less damage when he throws things into people. Just so, about to ask you that, okay. Yeah, pretty much, like, these knight- well, actually, that's a bad example, because the knights take two hits anyway. But, like, some enemies, Max takes two hits to kill, but Goofy just takes one, so... And it transfers to boss fights, too. Oh, cool, I was just about to ask about boss fights as well. Am I a mind reader? <laughs> you you are! You, you know exactly what I want to ask you. <laughs> Makes me think of, uh, what was her face? Miss Cleo. Yeah. I'm the descendant <laughs> of Miss Cleo, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, folks, so Dave is saying he can read you 
a future if you just call his 1-800 number, 1-800-HUNKYARD. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. All right. So, well, I see, we'll, we'll probably skip, like, the harder strat at the end here, because there is a death abuse, even though I have an okay amount of lives. Oh no, wait, no, we picked up the the continue, the continue gem or whatever, so that's okay. We'll go for it. Because you don't really want to reduce your life count going into the subpixel skip. Because um, lives in this are very random to pick up, so... They're also kind of weird too, because if you pick up, uh, for example, like a pot, there's a random chance there's going to be an item under it, but if you pick up the pot with a hook, uh, it's actually a 0% chance. It'll never drop. Oh, really? Yep. So... Ooh, I did that backwards. That's okay. We're not supposed to unlock that door. So it's going to be a mess now. So now, unlock the oh. door. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we did that backwards. That's the co-op strat. This is not so low, so... Got it, okay. <laughs> My brain has such a hard time with that, because you're doing totally two different things in co-op compared to solo. That makes so, sense. It happens in Turtles 4 a lot like that for myself, too. <laughs> I can only imagine. <coughs> uh, okay. So now, is there any faster way than this, or were you playing it safe, or is this just nope. what you have to wait for? You're, this is the one room that you just have to wait. You're stuck on this platform. Okay. There's no way to make it like a faster cycle or anything like that. It's a very strange spot. Besides death abuse for the co-op run, is there any real glitches? Or sorry, uh, even, the run, even this run too, you've done a little bit of death abuse. Um, is that about it for speed strats? Yes, because the only thing that the co-op strats do is the same skip that I go for at the end. Okay. And you just do it with Max as well. Ooh, this guy tried. <laughs> They want some of that hunk yard. Now, what are these uh, cherries that you are collecting? They're basically like a heart buffer. So mm. cherries give you one, but hearts don't matter in this game because even if you have, uh, you know, like five or one, you don't take like five hits. You get hit one time, it just reduces the bar down to zero. Oh. Um, but if you collect six hearts, you get an extra life. So. Got it. So you, you basically always want one heart buffer. Uh, that was actually very bad luck. These guys have really huge amounts of iframes sometimes. But... I was curious. I, was, I, I, did, I couldn't tell if you could hit them at first. But now I see that them getting hit. Yeah, depending how they jump, what kind of animation they're in. See, like that, he was still in iframes. Oh, okay. I finally got hit. So now when you hit that head that was spinning at you, was that just to protect yourself or did that still do damage? Uh, nope, it can hit me. And, oh, man, look at that. Whew. Uh, we, we want to hit him in such a way. We actually don't want to kill the red one first, but that was pretty swaggy. I've never hit his head four times. Yeah, that was awesome. So I was curious, I'm like, is he just messing around and, and showing off or is that worth it? I was, no, it's not worth it. Cause now this blue guy's bone things bounce off the wall. And he only throws two at a time instead of three, so God. we're paying the price for being cocky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, it takes two hits for him to reset his head, uh, so that's why you kind of have to like, attack his head. Got it, and then also that's making it slower for you because you need more of those to come out. Yep, so he's not a really friendly boss. The classic Dave going for the swag. <laughs> this this isn't a lie. <laughs> it's definitely not a lie. So yeah, entering stage four, uh, I would say like casually, this is probably one of the harder stages, um, or it starts to pick up in difficulty anyway. I think stage five is still hardest. But... And then how many stages are there in total? <clears throat> there is five. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> That wow. guy saved me! <laughs> okay, I need a barrel friend. I thought you were trapped for sure. Yeah, Sam. Okay, well we survived even though it was super slow. Frog! Frog? Alright. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Oh! Yes. Woo These guys 
Oh. Oh no! <laughs> they have a. I wouldn't say it's like a small chance. Like maybe thirty percent they can jump. Or sorry, grab the barrel and catch it. So it always catches me a little bit off guard when they do that. Yeah, the death that catch me off guard too. It is a hundred percent RNG. Sometimes they just catch things. Now, when you do the co-op run, are you still Max or are you Goofy in that run? Uh, no. Uh, I chose Goofy for no particular reason. It just ended up being that way. Oh, okay. And Cat ended up being Max. So she does literally. Actually, the cool thing about this speed run is it's like directly 50-50. That's Everyone cool. does, yes, it's like literally almost a 50-50 split. <clears throat> it's actually pretty crazy how decent it is there. And I did that a very horrible long way. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is not how I wrote this up. <laughs> I was an extreme scenic route for... <laughs> He's just showing you all the options you have to still do it right, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going up through here for no reason, actually. Uh, I did have the hearts, because you can just normally run through that. Okay, I was curious. I was like, I think he has oh, enough you health. Jerk face. Oh, he messed up the pattern already. Yeah, you want him to like run down, because it's going to kick the block up anyway. Ah, uh -huh, but... and get him off the screen. Yeah. Does this but game deal just... with any lag? It seems like a lot of Super Nintendo games are pretty good about it. Uh, no, no lag in this one. There is some, like, massive sections of, like, stage RNG and then boss RNG that are horrible for the speedrun in particular. Got it. One actually is coming up. It's one of the, I would say, like, second worst room in the entire game for RNG. Uh, after this room, there's, like, a, a dark room. And after that dark room, there's basically a room where there's just, like, four guys standing there. It is terrible. <laughs> okay. One of the worst sections of RNG by far. So normally you're supposed to have kind of like a candle or a light source here, but uh, none of these blocks ever change. Oops. <laughs> Ow, my foot! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta kick it over, apparently. And then this one comes up. There we grab... go. <laughs> you grab the hook here, and then this is just probably again the worst room in the entire game. Um, these guys are extremely random, and they roll, so they traverse like a lot of yeah, real space. Quickly. Yes, but you can see too they also kick the blocks. Although that guy didn't feel he wanted to save his friend, so I guess All that's right. okay. That could have gone way better, but it also could have gone way worse. I actually made a save state. I streamed only for like half an hour earlier, and then I was like, well, I should practice this before. <laughs> I forget this room, so I'm gonna get exploited now. Uh, I don't remember the rest of that puzzle, but if you walk in and out like this, uh, you can go like this and uh, solve it this way because that block stays broken. Oh, wow, look at you. Uh, nope. <laughs> you gotta kick that one second. And I meant to go back and crack this so I didn't look like an idiot, but you know what? We're gonna look like an idiot anyway All because right. we forgot to do that. Dave's <laughs> showing off what you don't do in this run. <laughs> yeah. There's a way to solve this puzzle, which is stupid because it's only like two or three blocks or whatever, yeah. but no. Apparently, you can't remember that room. You remember everything else, but not this one. Alright, so when you went to the left there, were you just trying to corral them, almost like shepherd them to the left side here? Correct, because Max loses like 50% of his speed, so this is actually one of the worst rooms for Max in particular. Okay. So you really want to like pull them up there so you can reduce the time that you're walking and having to throw back the barrels into these guys. Yeah, I can't remember without using the block. And this boss actually has a pretty slow pattern just overall, regardless of what you do, right? This is, yeah, like my one big criticism about this game. Both co-op and solo, this boss is very long. Like, it's it's actually so painfully long that how long it takes to kill this boss is almost equal to how long it takes to solve some of the stages in the speedrun. Wow. So it's like about a two minute fight, it's very slow. Especially on solo. 
co-op, it's a little bit faster because both person, or sorry, both people, both persons, yeah, both, both persons, people, you're good. <laughs> both people can take uh, a worm. Oh, and, and then focus. throw rocks. Yeah, because eventually after this hit, I think there's going to be two worms that come up. So. And there's no way for you to rapid fire them to get both, huh? No, not in solo, because the rocks disappear before the worms come up. Oh, yeah, so it's look just at that. Infinitely slow. It's like literally solo. Um, I think this actually takes as long as like the first stage, so it's just an awful fight. Yeah, Dave was saying that he enjoys this game, RGC, um, definitely as a co-op run. Yeah, out of all the speedruns that I know, uh, co-op Goof Troop is the best. Like, it's actually the best. So I wouldn't place anything higher than this one. Now with this boss, is it similar to your other double boss where you don't want to kill one before the other? Ideally, you want to hit them down so they're running at the same speed so one's not slower. Uh, but I don't really know how to do that, I think, in solo. Okay. Because if you attack one... I, I can't remember what that was like, actually. It was one of the two things. You either attack one so it's like super fast when it comes out, and then you focus on the other one, or you hit them down equally so they're both the same speed. Junkyard's doing it right, Wario. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can't quite remember the, the solo strat, but at the same time, too, it's very random because whatever color one comes out, it's not like I know. Yeah, you, okay, it's always RNG on that. Okay. Nice. All right, well, he got through him. So, this is the last stage. Um, it has some pretty big components of RNG in it, too, and as I said at kind of the very beginning, uh, it has a, a big, actually, sub-pixel skip right at the very end, which can be a little bit scary to go for. Um, because I think it's a two pixel window, but your sub pixel has to be right. So you can buffer the sub pixel to be right, but you have to hit the two pixel window, otherwise Max just dies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so if you, as I said, game over in this game, uh, mm -hmm. that's it. But uh, you grab the game over, uh, or continue, excuse me, so in theory you're still okay, right? Yes, if I game over, uh, we at least have one extra continue, it'll set us to two lives again. Okay. So fruit is absolutely necessary only in that room to run into all of those guys and hit that switch. You could probably do every other room uh, in this game without fruit, but not that one. It's like literally impossible. Okay. And coming into this room, this is massively probably one of the worst rooms, if not the worst room in the entire game, because all of these guys just kind of move where they want to move. And you have a bell here, but in solo, okay, that was wow. really good. Wow, I actually went to, last time I seen you play that on your stream, it's been months, but uh, I remember how bad that one room went. Yes, like you can just lose like literally time over and over and over there. So this is actually Max's worst room I would consider because every one of these guys takes two hits. Um, the red guy isn't affected by the bell, but if you miss actually these barrels, you have to repeat this entire room, and it just takes forever. So, nice. we got pretty lucky there, actually. Now, is that bell supposed to be like a dinner bell for them? They're just a little bit hungry? Maybe. I'm not, I'm actually not sure about the bell lore, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> it could I was be. for some bell lore, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, entering here, we really want to hold on to this hook. Because um, if you actually get rid of this hook, the last hook is very far away. You now, actually lose do you lose a hook when you use um, a rope? Is that when you lose a hook? Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Or sorry, you, you had to use the hook on those like two little blocks or whatever Correct. to open up that gate. Because if you didn't do that part first, you have to backtrack for like literally a minute to go get another hook. So. Oh, wow, okay. It's, a, it's actually a very painful mistake. So, uh, coming up is the subpixel skip. You have to align Max very, very, very specifically. So let's see if we can do that. We walk in here and we kick the block. And... I don't feel comfortable about that one. 
So there's a... Ooh, okay. Wow! So yeah, there's a, a buffer with the bell that makes it a little bit easier to like move because you have to tap up for one frame there, but you can buffer that. Oh, with, you just uh, nailed that. Like, he's yeah. being totally casual right now. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, I use the bell instead of the other trick, but like, no, that was intense. Yeah. He felt that, like that, that's what three percent comfortable. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's pretty scary, honestly, because you only get one chance to do it. So this machine thing is like. If you, if you can't tell, one of the worst things. I was gonna say, it looks like it's RNG. Is that true? Uh, there are patterns, but you can get trapped on this thing forever, especially if you go down. You know what? We're actually gonna go like this. Okay. We're gonna reset this because this is crazy. I'm like literally trapped in a very weird spot over there. Um, so the idea is you want to stay on like this little section and move it up as much as you can ah. before moving right, because uh, you have three different directions that you can move here like that. So there we go. That was a little bit better. Yeah, this whole section, like that whole platform is very, very random. And I think there's like seeds that it follows because Blacky a long time uh, kind of like mapped out some of them. Oh, but okay. There, as far as I know, like there's no way, at least until now, to manipulate it. Hulk probably changed that because this game went from being like super random to uh, extremely uh, manipulated. That's what I thought I remember reading in the Discord. Yeah, nice it's actually stuff. pretty crazy how much the route changed. Um, nope, I did that right. We remembered correctly. So now you're about to get to a boss fight here, right? Pretty soon? Correct. This is the last boss, and he is like beyond the worst source of RNG in probably any game I've ever played, actually. Like, to put that into perspective, uh, like when Kat and I run this co op. I think we've killed him as low as 51 seconds, and he has also died as high as 3 minutes. So there's like this gigantic variance of what he can do. Uh, so you really want him to summon bombs, obviously. Uh, but yeah, he is just insane for RNG. And if for this, the bell or the timer again is when he um, last hit, correct? Uh, no, when you lose movement. Oh, lose movement. So this is cool. kind of like the second best scenario. <laughs> he can summon these guys, uh, but the downside is after he summons these guys, as he jumps back and forth on these platforms, he's guaranteed to summon bombs. Ah. Um, to some extent, anyway. He's got a higher percentage than all of these other moves that he has. But, uh, yeah, the, the downside when he summons bombs on these platforms is he only spawns like two to four. Whereas if there's no guys running around, he can spawn like up to seven or eight. Oh, wow. So, we, we went back and forth a lot back then trying to figure out which is better because he's got a larger pool of moves uh, summoning these bombs, but I think it's faster if he spawns more. But he's got a smaller pool of moves if he's on the platform after two guys have been summoned. So it's just an awful. Quite a bit of randomness there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, plus the bombs go flying everywhere too. It's uh, uh, I can't make that one. Yeah, I would agree with that with Wiz Wario. Like probably nine times out of ten, you want the tornado. Like the only time you don't want the tornado is because he can actually spawn with the tornado like one bomb at a time. So when Max stops moving here, so time. Ooh, a twenty-seven twenty-eight. That's not bad. I'll take that. That was ahead of average! Yeah, I mean, like, I really didn't get a chance to practice this one, but uh, I, I will take that. Can we get some GG's in the chat? That was awesome! Dave even went for the skip, played it off super, you know, cash, you know, did a bunch of death abuse. Not all of it, what, you skipped two death abuses in the whole run? Uh, yeah, I skipped one, two, uh, two but they're life dependent. So I actually had to skip them because I didn't have enough lives at the time. Oh, gotcha, okay. My goodness gracious. All right, well, uh, folks, look at this. Look at this awesome ending here. The, the enemies are gonna become dinner for this uh, crocodile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's what you get for, you know, messing with Max and Goofy. I think the one thing that I really like about this speedrun in general, 
specifically the speedrun, is it like doesn't lag. Like minus the whole caterpillar section, like everything is really fast paced and it's like it goes by really quickly considering how long the actual run is. Yeah, it seems like the only two slow parts are what you said, the caterpillar boss fight and then the final boss fight. Which no yeah. surprise, it's the final boss. Yes, because the, the final boss is kind of crazy sometimes, but... No, that's yeah. like a moderate boss fight for the final that boss. That was probably about... <clears throat> sorry, that was probably about average for sure. Okay. Like, there was nothing extraordinary about that, because you really don't want him to do anything except summon bombs, so... Wow, that was really cool, Dave. Thank you so much. And after only running your own event this last weekend, right, and still recovering from the COVID, you put on a great show. Thank you so much. What do you <laughs> Junkyard Dave made all the glitches look easy and made this chill run a fun one for all. Found this exciting? Our next live event for the Dream Races will be Mad Rush March on Tuesday, March 22nd at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. Want to watch live? You can dream with us right now at twitch.tv backslash General Andrews. Remember to like, comment, watch the whole damn video, and subscribe.